Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the home channel, reviewing the Dave Ramsey program, Financial Peace University. Just went to the second week's class and I uh, wanted to discuss how that went and kind of the feeling I'm getting about the whole program. Well, we had more people this week. Some people who didn't come last week came and a person came to retake it, uh, which apparently you can do at no cost. Uh, you have to have your own kit, but um, you can sit in on the class and participate uh, without having to pay again. So that's a nice thing. Okay, we, um, when the class started, a uh, little chit chat, we basically um, had to fill in a, have a we, if we had done our homework, we had this card filled in where you listed anonymously, you didn't put your name on it, the uh, total amount of your non-mortgage debt, uh, how many credit cards you have, and uh, something else I don't remember. Anyway, everybody put that in, and while we were watching the video, another almost one hour video, the coordinator put all the numbers together, so in aggregate he announced our group has this much debt and this many credit cards and so forth, so it was anonymous, but you had some idea what we're all up against anyway together and what, what portion your debt and your number of credit cards is of that total. So we, we did that homework part, turned in our homework basically, showed that we had done our quick uh, budget sheet, and um, then it was another hour of video, this time mainly about uh, relationships and finances, and uh, it was amusing in parts, uh, mostly about uh, married couples, but also if you're a single person, that's, um, you need to have somebody that will hold you accountable for your spending and your purchases, and then about uh, children and ways to get them started to being responsible for their own spending and to teach them to save and to give. Um, his daughter actually did the children's part, the part that's directed towards how you should um, interact with your children and teach them about finances. So she did that, and um, not quite as captivating as when Dave Ramsey's speaking, but uh, she related stories about her own childhood and how finances were taught to her, so there were some interesting stories in it. And um, let's see, we, after that, we uh, did some discussion group exercise, we had to fill out a um, a quiz about whether you're more of a nerd, somebody who's more analytical and controlling, or whether you're somebody who's more of a free spirit and enjoy the moment, don't worry so much about the consequences, and then meet in small groups to discuss what that means in your life, and not that one's good or bad, but especially when people get married, you tend to have one of each, and so how to, how to work that out. Also, everybody's in jeans, and it's not a bad thing. It's, it's you know, casual Friday every day is good if, if you can live that way. But it, it was, a, um, he and the jeans and the, you know, the shirt without the tie kind of thing, that's his style, so, you know, that, that's good. But what was kind of funny was um, when he had all the people come out who were going to help him during the course of this program, including his daughter and these other people, Everybody was in jeans, and everybody was dressed at about the same level of fanciness as him. And it was sort of weird, because you wouldn't ordinarily get, I don't remember how many people it was, four people and Dave Ramsey, you ordinarily wouldn't get five people, and they would dress really the same way, unless maybe you know, they were on vacation, they might all be wearing shorts and a Hawaiian shirt or something, that wouldn't be too weird, but for doing a presentation like this, and I wasn't sure at the end of the first, uh, the video of the first week, whether the audience they had, whether he was you know, doing a real um, seminar and they just happened to videotape it and use some of that footage in the program, I don't think that's the case anymore. Now it's pretty clear that this whole thing is set up so he could videotape this program. So the thing with the live audience is just to sort of add the laugh track to it, but really the reason it was done, I believe, was uh, to set up the video program that goes along with this. So I'm starting to think that the, the target group for this program other than people who obviously need help with their finances, is, is uh, people who are not wealthy, but who want to be, even if in their, their chosen profession and so forth they really have no chance of ever being, they sort of aspire to being wealthy. And something in this class is playing to that, but I can't quite put my finger on what it is yet, but I've got seven more weeks to figure it out, and um, I'll let you know after the third class if I have any more updates then.